Hello and welcome to the channel. As always, thanks for joining me. It's massively appreciated. And welcome to the first in my build series. For four years now, you may or may not know, I've done many, many, many rebuilds. I'm going to flash up a graphic for you right now, showing you all the teams I've done. And when I went through them, I couldn't believe it. I didn't realize I've done that many over the last four years, but I enjoyed them all. They've been great. Um, but when I started, I didn't really see many people doing rebuilds. And then recently, I think lots of people are doing them. Every freaking Tom, Dick and Harry is doing some kind of rebuild series where they're taking a big former club or whatever. So I'm trying to take them back to the top. So I wanted to just change it up a little bit and do a build series where we take teams I like. I've always wanted to do something with teams I think are quite cool and um, that haven't really got a history that aren't big clubs, don't have loads of fans and try and do something with them, try and win a major trophy. I think that's got to be the minimum aim of all these build series. So I've decided to start right here with building Venezia. Now, apparently that's how you say it. I've been watching some Serie A football recently um, and I've wanted to do something with this club for ages, not only because they have cool kits and cool kit advertising campaigns, but they're in Venice. They're not the biggest. Um, and they just got promoted to the Serie A this year via the playoffs. So I'm very excited for this series. Hopefully you are. Hopefully you're going to stick with this all the way through and stick with the entire series when I do other clubs because I've got my next two clubs planned in as well. So I think we should just jump in after you get the thumbs up. Maybe become a patron and have a good look at this club. So here we are on the season preview page, the odds page as I call it. And they are newly promoted to the Serie A. And they are... Joint favourites to go down with another team, Salonatana, that I've got a lot of feeling for from a former save of mine many years ago. Now, this is going to be a challenge, and that's what I want. When you do these rebuilds, like I've done one with Milan um, and loads of other big teams around Europe, even when they're lower down, like my Deportivo one, they're still big clubs, they've got loads of fans, and once you get up there, you're getting good money and so on, and it's easy to attract players. I just wanted to go to a tiny club with a tiny stadium, a really unfancy team, but this it just has character and this team, you've got to admit, has a ton of character, so it was got to be a shoe-in um, for my first goal. Now, they do have some history. They did win the Coppa Italia. I think it was in 1940, the 1940-41 season, and they spent time in the Serie A. They've actually finished third once many, many moons ago. As you can see at the top of the screen, um, they finished third in the 1941-42 year, so that'll be the year after. They won the Coppa Italia. Now they actually, if you look down there, finished second once, but I don't. I think that might be different. I think this is the modern Serie A. They've classed as so that's their highest finish. Now the nickname I'm going to try and say it is Lagunare. I'm not sure what it means. I've not looked it up. I like you guys getting involved. So get involved in the comments. Let me know what it is. Um, founded in 1907. Of course, I'm the manager. Uh, Fierce rivals with a load of teams. They're not big teams. Verona, maybe. Historic rivalry there. Uh, they play at the Per Luigi Penzo. We're going to have a look at that in a minute. Only 11,000 capacity. We'll go on the general page. You can have a look here. They were last in the Serie A many, many moons ago. Obviously got relegated. They've been down to Serie C. Serie D. Ouch. Up and down, up and down, up and down. And they've had that good climb. Spent a good few years in Serie B. And then last year, finished fifth but won the playoffs. So of course, we're based in Venice, the city that's sinking. Don't know how long it's gonna be here. I think they're trying loads of things to try and save it. My wife's been said it's amazing. It's, it was on our bucket list. We had this whole bucket list uh, that we of major cities we wanted to go to. And we went to the first one, which was Paris. And then she got pregnant <laughs> and then we've had another kid. So that's been put on the back burner for a few years, our European tour of um, awesome cities. But Venice um, is definitely one of them. Might take me boys, really wanna go. Um, now the stadium, the Pier Luigi Penzo, is ancient. It was built in 1913, and when you read about it, it's been bigger than it is. It used to be made out of wood, parts have collapsed. And you look at it now, it's not the best. I mean, I'd say Stockport County's Edgeley Park, who are non-league English sides stadium, is about 15 million times better than this. Um, but what I did find online is there are plans and apparently we're going to start building it this year. I don't know if it's still happening with COVID and all that good stuff um, for a new stadium, which looks amazing. So hopefully they can survive in Serie A in real life and build that stadium. And hopefully during this build, we can build that stadium. Uh, average train facilities, below average youth facilities, adequate recruitment, average academy coaching. I've got so much work to do. 
and so little money to do it. So my philosophy with this build is I'm not going to sign anyone. I'm not going to go out there and try and sign anyone just because I, I feel like I have to for on a free. I'm not even going to go into the loan market. I'm going to see if I can survive this year with the squad I've inherited and then I can evaluate them. If we survive, I know he's going to be good enough. I'll see what the money situation is at the end of the year. Um, I can maybe get some loans in or whatever then once I've done a bit of scouting. If we go down, I don't get sacked. We'll, we'll, well, we'll think about that at the time. Um, so what I was going to do was I was going to use my money to sort my staff out because it's crap. Now there's a lot of spaces to fill, but I wasn't happy with any one I had, not one of them. So my idea was use that money to get rid of them and then try and bring in the best possible staff on a free, if possible, to save money and just give ourselves that advantage. Go down the staff route, the training route. Um, I've got a great tactic that I use that we're going to go for with this. Maybe the more defensive tactic than I used on Project 23 with Borussia Dortmund. And yeah, go down the staff route and then assess at the end of the year. And it was a real simple, easy year to play. Always is when you've not got much football. And we've got the league, don't get me wrong, but you can blast through that. I'm in the Cop of Italia. I just want me to get to the second round of that. Of course, a club like ours, we've got no dreams of that. If you have a good run, fair ado. But my full focus this year is, of course, survival. To fight bravely against relegation. But this is where I might clash with this club's philosophy. Because they want me to play defensive, solid football. I hate defensive solid football or play positively or attacking so they're gonna to have to get with me and hopefully they'll change their ways of thinking because if we just sit back we're gonna get pounded and i never sit back so i'm ignoring that work within the budget what budget fight bravely against relegation yeah blah 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 and then what do they want to do they want to remain in the Serie A and just remain in this league of course we do i mean I'd be gutted if I can't, but I was up for the challenge, man. So this is a squad arranged by ability. Now, one player I was buzzing with was Sergio Romero. Only on a one-year deal, but he's he's not bad. Now, I'm on here just so you can see some of their ability stars, the potential stars, and the age. Now, it's a big-ass squad. A big-ass squad. I'm not going to go through all of it. I'm going to quickly skip through all the players I'm going to use this year. So jump forward a bit um, to 31st of August. It is deadline day. I think it's just finished. Um, so let's just go through them quickly. I'm not going to talk about them all. Just to show you what I've got. So I think... I mean, there's a lot of weaknesses here. Don't get me wrong. But he's got loads of potential, the young American. Um, there's some solid players. Like, he's a solid player. Obviously, some are on loan. But I can't wait. I, I don't normally do this. I normally sign someone. I'll try and look at it and say, right, I've, I've got no money. I might try and just get that left back on loan, just try and do something. But no, I'm going to, honestly, just stick with it, trim it, and see who's good, see what cream rises to the top. And if we can survive, that'll be awesome. But being honest with you, I only know a couple of these lads. I didn't know too much about them. That's exciting as well. Um, but you can see, I mean, they're all right. I mean, when we come up against some of the big boys, we could be in trouble. But it's a 20-team league. You've only got to be better than three of them. We've got a good chance of that, especially with great staff and a good tactic. And the tactics I'm using is my defensive one and my attacking one, which is called Dortmund at the minute, because I've just been using that for Project 23. If you're not seeing that series, go check it out. I love it. Um, but we'll just see how it goes. I can always switch to that, at least if they're training it, they know it. But I'm going to go for this because it is early. They want me to play a little bit defensive. So I'll have a defensive midfielder, so they stop moaning at me. And here is my new staff. Everyone went, brought in loads. Dennis Bergkamp's here. Dennis Bergkamp will sign for anyone. What a coach he is. I always sign Dennis. He's out there on a free. Um, so you can see my coaching team, all the spots are filled. I was going to try and do as much as I can throughout the year, try and keep improving it. But that's going to help us a lot, I think. We've got the best defence coach, best attack coach, best mentals, best technicals. It helps. Um, my scouts, I've got decent ones. Well, obviously, we're not got the best in the league, and the medical team's definitely improved. I'm not bothering with a director of football, a technical director. I'm going to do everything myself this year. Um, I don't think we're at that level yet. I'm not that lazy just yet. And just so you can see, look, everyone went, got rid of the absolute lot of them. I just didn't think any of them were good enough. And these are all the guys I brought in. If you have a look down here, you can see them all. Lovely, absolute jublet. There's Dennis. Brilliant. I mean, he's just a good coach. He can become good technically. Brilliant. Imagine Dennis Burkamp teaching your players how to play. Can't grumble with that. And there are the finances. You can see I've been wiggling stuff about to obviously bring staff in and so on and pay off staff that were leaving. Got 1.2 million in the bank and nothing to spend. But I couldn't wait. Couldn't wait to get going. Well, by the 1st of January, 
we weren't doing too bad. I was seventh, won eight, drawn seven, lost four. Now I will say this until the cows come home, but staff are important. I think that's really helped because we've got good coaching. The lads are getting trained hard, trained well, and hopefully you're maximizing your players. That's how I think about it. I don't know how true that is. I know it's only a computer game. Um, but then my tactic as well, you're never going to get tactic tuitions and a different crazy ass tactic with five strikers or no strikers on my channel because I don't do that. I have a, I like playing a certain way. I've got to play this and I've got to watch the games. You know, some are watching Keith, depends what it is. Um, but I've still got to watch it. I don't want to watch crap football. I don't want to fanny about. Any manager anywhere in the world goes anywhere, takes their philosophy with them. So that's what I do and I think it works. Even when I play defensively, like I'm doing, I'm not technically playing defensively, but with a defensive midfielder, I can't grumble with that. Look who's below us, Milan and Lazio. Holy schniz. And look how well we started. We drew our first three games, Fiorentina, Roma, Genoa, and then I beat AC Milan away from home. What a performance. Um, gets even better. I know the Juve are on the slide here, and they, they seem to be a little bit on the slide in the game. It's not like Man United who are on the slide. And um, but on football manager the quality. <laughs> I'm a United fan. Um, Juventus seem to be a bit ropey. So yeah, won a couple of games. We got beat off Atalanta. Then we had another good run, undefeated, drawing with Lazio, which you cannot grumble with. Bit of a bad patch. Got beat off Inter, but give them a bloody game. Uh, got beat off Torino, uh, Napoli. Give me an ass whooping. And then I won against Udinese and my first rebuild of this year, Bologna, three 0 In the Coppa Italia at this moment, we're still in it which is quality, um, won 3-0 in the first round, beat Spal 2-1 in the second, and then we're up against Napoli. But again, I'm not I'm not asked about this. This is this is the kind of trophy I'm thinking I could win to complete the build, do you know what I mean? But we are nowhere near that yet. I mean, our odds have changed, aren't they? Out of the relegation zone, I'd take 17th, even though we're 7th right now. But look, our salary per annum is 19 million. Let's check out UVs, 185 into 162, Lazio, 78, wow. Uh, Milan, 95, Napoli, 110, Atalanta are big boys these days, 51, Roma, 90. So when you think of that, you think of what we're spending. It's absolute peanuts. If we can survive this year and get some form of good prize money, we can start growing. And I'm scouting as much as I can. My recruitment package is just on Europe because it just costs money. I turn that on and off to save money. I think that works sometimes. If you've always got it on the max package, I mean, do you need it on the max package? So sometimes I'll switch off if I'm not doing anything just to save a couple of quid when I'm at a club like this. Um, but yeah, you can see these are all players that are interested. Doesn't mean I'm going to get any of them. I've had him a few times on saves, to be fair, Michael. Um, but again, it's just getting that bit of knowledge, seeing if anyone I might be able to pick up on a free um, and just knowing if they're a good player or not. And squad-wise, I can't really grumble. I, I thought they were an all-round good squad, but they're really starting to gel into a bit of a team and they can put in a performance, as you've seen from the results. Um, so I'm, I'm start, I was, at this point, I'm starting to get an idea of who I want to keep. A lot of the contracts aren't long. Sergio Romero, I'll say it right now, his contract comes up at, towards the, at the end of this season and he won't sign another. He's going to leave, which is going to be a big hole, really, because I think he's a quality keeper. I think I would have liked to, to at least keep him for another season. So that's going to be a big hole to fill, trying to find a keeper on that kind of level for next year. Um, but there are good players, like some really, really decent players. I mean, I'm kind of hoping it won't happen. I mean, I can dream that we'll get a load of money, tycoon takeover. I'll go and buy Lorenzo Luca because <laughs> I love him. And I'll jump forward just a few days because I'd had a few deals going down. You can see I've expanded the coaches. I think it was from 9 to 11. Um, I gave in eventually. I went for a director of football and technical director just to get their attributes within my bars to try and boost them bars. Uh, again, more physio. So there's work to do there. But that coaching team has basically, it hadn't cost me hardly a thing. There's always, and I've noticed this this year in this game, tons of great staff out there whatever club i've been at i've had no trouble especially staff out there that aren't employed now that doesn't mean i went for everyone i went for chose me they didn't a lot of occasions they, uh, there was three or four of us going for someone and they'd choose someone else and um, i think i found a really good coach can't remember his name um but he went to bail Leverkusen, i think so you can't always do it but that i know i'm going about it i do if you've been a sub of mine for ages you know i talk about it all the time but surely i think it helps because we are training the shit out of these boys and i think it's showing on the pitch so by the first of april we are six and i'm buzzing with that won 14 games drawn nine lost seven because in real life 
they're in a bit of a relegation battle. I hope they do stay up. I really hope they do. Because if they do, they might get their new stadium and be able to grow as a club in real life. Now, I've got no one in the top goal scorers. I've got no one in the average ratings. But I don't care. As a little team, a little collective team, they're really freaking winning me over. Now, the new year didn't start off great. We drew against Roma, which, don't get me wrong, I think that's a fantastic result. And Roma only nicked it. That freaking point at the end. Then we're on a three-game losing streak. We got beat off Milan. But another good game. Giving a fight. They've got character. And I like it when my teams have a bit of character, a bit of fight. And then look at this. I beat Juventus again. You can't explain this game sometimes, can you? Uh, Drew with Empoli. And then I've beat Atalanta's quality. And then when we last three games, these are teams that need to be beating. Um, and we have. Now, we've got a big run in here. Lazio, Inter, Torino, Napoli, Bologna, Udinese. is quality. Um, but we're okay. I mean, we're on 51 points. We're not in a relegation battle. We're actually in kind of a fight with European spot, which would be extra special for this little club. And when it came to the Coppa Italia, we did get beat off Napoli, but only just... Only just this is another prime example of how much of a fight we can put up. We might not create a load of chances, but we fight to the very, very end. So what, I'm going to show you the goal, show you a little bit of this um, fighting spirit of ours. So of course we went 2-0 down, that was a bit of a ping pong goal. Here we go with the next goal, same goal scorer, Mario A, crosses it in along the floor, easy tapping. And I love this, watch this for a vision pass, look at that ball! He gets onto it, no one in the box yet. But he takes a step back, Henry, bottom corner. And then we had a free kick, lofts it in, he heads it down, it kind of, yeah, the keeper grabs it and drops it in, thank you very much. In injury time, unfortunately, we lost that fight, but ah, we were lucky with that, I think. So here we are now, it is the 22nd of May, and as you can see, we have fell off a little bit, but I still think ninth is fantastic with one game to go, and if you look a little bit closer, we're on 58 points, we're only three points off Juventus. That is insane. It is, isn't it? Thomas Henry, second leading goal scorer in the league. I mean, no one's touching Mr. Immobile. Um, bloody hell, 49 goals. And Lazio, a third. Um, but, but there is a chance. There's a mathematical chance. A mathematical one that we could sneak into Europe. So the running, you know, hasn't been perfect. We got beat off Lazio. Uh, we did beat Sampdoria 4-0, which I think is pretty special. Can't lie. Lost a few games, drew a game. Lost a couple of games here. Napoli, though, it's Napoli. Then beat Udinese. And what is really cool, and I love how this game can work out for you sometimes, the last game of the season is at home against Bologna, a team I've just done recently. Now, I'm pretty sure you get good TV money at the start of the season. 70, 80 million, I think. I might be wrong. So that'll be good. Um, if we finish where we are now, we're looking to get six or seven million. Now, there's always one thing I forget about Italy. It doesn't go off goal difference straight away, does it? It goes off against results between teams. Which, if we neck and neck with Torino, isn't a good thing. But if it comes down to between us and Juve um, on points or whatever, and we end up equal on points, we'll go above them, no matter about goal difference. Because somehow, I managed to beat them freaking twice this year. That's an achievement and a half. That's, that's the best thing I've done, I think, this season. And I'm not saying it was me. But Lego got sacked last month. <laughs> Sorry, mate. So let's have one last look at the squad. Arranged by average rating. Not a lot of green, but it's not going to be. But still a good little squad. Uh, as you can see, Sergio Romero is leaving me. Joining Racing Club. See you later, mate. Goals-wise, Mr. Thomas Henri, I call him. Because he's French. Um, he's not bad, is he? I mean, the teams he used to play for, I never heard of. Um, but who cares anyway goals wise brilliant assists wise we've not done too bad they were a good little unit some really good players a lot of work to be done though next year because we are in Serie A um, Europe or not and I can't wait for it so this game wasn't deemed important enough um, for TV unfortunately but yeah what a kit I love it I love playing in all black it's cool as shit and when I was doing like research on the club you look at all the kits they're always cool aren't they they always have like fit Italian models and <laughs> doing the uh, adverts for it but what was that mate but i love playing in like this little stadium with you know ten thousand fans at best if we can it's like we're the same size as county to be honest but in serie a and i do like that I, I love this idea of a good build hopefully if people are watching we can do a good few years seven eight nine years 
build the training facilities, get some better players in. It's going to be hard if I find a little gem to maybe keep hold of him. So I, I don't know how I'm going to go about it. Depends what the money is, depends who wants to come. First few years, probably going to be hopefully signing up free player. Um, probably not going to be spending money, to be fair. Looking at our loan market, which is a big thing in Italy. Um, hopefully, even if we don't get into Europe, I can, you know, the finish we've had will hopefully boost our reputation a little bit as well. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. I'd like to maybe end up playing a full attacking force, have some really good players. But oh, 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 oh Sergio. So yeah, we're getting beat. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have minded my good boys showing up, putting on a bit of a performance for you. Um, but it is what it is. We've not been that great towards the end of the year. A few niggles here and there. Um, maybe fatigue, I don't know. They've done enough. They've done enough. Uh, is Busio. Some really good lads. And Paydu's who's been decent for me. Uh, skates to one re. Oh! Juventus are getting beaten all. Oh, if we... Oh, I don't know what Torino is. I didn't see that. Oh, my God. This is fun. I right, put that pressure on them. They're passing out from the back. But yeah, I enjoyed my Bologna rebuild. That was good. I'm not enjoying them winning if they win. Yeah, they've got Hickey, haven't they, at left back? He's a good little player. He's a Scottish lad. I didn't know anything about him. Um, and then I watched uh, <laughs> that video where they signed him with a lot less monster toy. Very strange. They've also got that Austrian Bellend up front. I got rid of him. I think I kept him for the first season. I got rid of him. I just don't like him in real life. Got him off that wage bill. And sign Lorenzo Luca. Oh, come on. So beautiful Venice. Um, it was chucking it down, wasn't it? And the sky looks awesome now. We're getting beat 1-0. Juve, we're getting beat still. Might not work out for us this. So yeah, my assistant manager is not an assistant. And I do this quite often. Sometimes you'll find guys out there who've got good um, qualities to be a certain staff member, even though, even though they want to be something else. And I signed Nuno Gomez. Do you remember him? I think he wants to be director of football, but he's an half-decent assistant. He's my assistant manager. I've got a goal for this. I've switched my attacking formation. We've got um, young Jaco, is it Jacopo Diaz. He's come on. Um, I made a couple more changes as well. Just see what we can do. See if we can at least go out not losing. That'd be nice. Come on, boys. Let's get a goal. I mean, a draw's not good enough. Sigerson. There's hope. There is freaking hope. Yeah, I've done that a few times this year. Switched to me attacking formation. Do you know what? Can I do that? Let's do it. Um, but it's not going to happen, is it? It's not going to happen. Unfortunately, Juventus are drawing anyway. Well, there we go. It wasn't enough in the end. At least we didn't get beat in our last game at home. Um, and we, I think we've done the club proud. We've done Venice proud. And the players have done me proud. It would have been nice. Get straight into Europe in some form or fashion. What meant to be. It wouldn't have worked anyway. We needed more maths to help us out. Um, so if we had a one and Juve had a loss, we would have gone above Juve because the game's against, but Torino drew. So we would have been level on points with them and they had a better record against us. Whew. Cool thing though, Thomas Henry. He's got the silver boot. So I've jumped forward to the 1st of June. This is what I'm looking at for next season. We've got our prize money and this is this is going to be it. This is why I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's challenging, isn't it? Loans and freebies, if I'm lucky. And um, my first priority is a goalkeeper and half decent good goalkeeper hopefully i can find one we are though improving the facilities so you know some of that money went into that which is really really good it's progress in it i love it never get bored of it chip away at it and keep working hard this is my squad i've arranged it by their expiry date you can see the long guys are going obviously sergio's going uh that dz guy who came on i'm probably gonna let him go antonio vaca though he's 32 he's played for me this year he's a decent player no one's interested in him but he's a good solid player um Probably going to give him a deal. He's only on £1,800 a week. Bargain. Everyone else is locked in for now. Um, and there's a lot of good things here. I've got a lot of positive feelings about it. Lazio may have an absolute beast up top this year, but it wasn't enough. They've lost the Coppa Italia, the Cup Final 2-0. And just to show you where we're at and why I love my tactic and that just pressing, going for it, positive football, forget being defensive, is look at this. Goals scored in the league. But of course, defensively, we weren't the best. We weren't the worst, but we weren't the best. Losing a good goalkeeper, I think my first priority maybe will be to strengthen that defence. So there we go. That is the end of episode one, season one with Vanessa in Venice. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully you're going to enjoy the build, the difference to it than the rebuilds. I know it's still quite similar, the format and all that, but I'm very happy with it and buzzing with my first season. Can't wait to get stuck into this. I'm, I'm so excited for it. I can't wait to do my second club. I've already got all the graphics ready for it, but yeah, this is where we're at now. 
for many seasons. Uh, Project 23 Rusty Dortmund has finished. Hopefully you've watched it. If you haven't, go and check it out. Um, so I'm freed up now to get stuck into this and a few other things, hopefully. So thank you, honestly. Your view is the most important thing. And if you watch the entire episode, I massively appreciate it. And hopefully we'll see your handsome face back for episode two season two which i'll try and bring to as quick as possible i am off now for four days so i will be pounding the shit out of it and hopefully you can have it early next week so stay happy stay safe stay strong i love you a long time i'm booed bye bye